Hey everyone, Bill French with Core Safety Group. Today I want to talk about how to properly inspect a fall protection harness and then we're going to show one way how to avoid suspension trauma when using a vertical lifeline. But depending on the trade, many construction workers spend all day in their fall protection harness and the condition of that harness could mean life or death. So it's always important to inspect your harness at the beginning and end of each shift. At the beginning of the shift so that you know it was in good condition when you started and at the end of the shift so that you can see if there was any sort of damage while you were wearing it. First of all, pick up your harness by the back D-ring. Give it a good look over. Look at all the straps and all the metal hardware, all the webbing. When you're looking at the straps or the webbing, you're looking for any sort of cuts, tears, chemical damage, rips, loose stitches, any sign of damage. When you move on to the metal hardware, you're going to be looking for any sort of corrosion, rust, metal pitting, or bending. Also, on a lot of harnesses, you'll have special indicators, whether it's folded stitches or other things, that if a fall has happened while someone was wearing this harness, these, these indicators will be exposed. So if you see that indication or you notice any other damage on the harness, take that harness out of service. Now I want to talk about suspension trauma. In the event a worker experiences a fall and they're hanging there in their harness waiting to be rescued, there is a lot of pressure being applied from the leg straps that is cutting off circulation to their lower extremities. There are a few different things a worker can do to relieve that pressure and give themselves more time to be rescued. If you are using a vertical lifeline in your fall protection system, such as a rope and a rope grab, you can use that rope to your advantage. Here's an industry professional demonstrating that technique. This hurts really bad. That was a lot of impact that you just went through right here. And you only have a limited amount of time to get the pressure off your legs before you can start experiencing some trauma. So instead of waiting for somebody to figure out that I'm not nailing the roof off anymore and I've fallen down, I'm gonna go ahead and self-relieve some of that. So you take the tag end of your rope and you just loop it over on the right foot on the inside and pull that up a little bit. And then you just step in with your left foot and now you can stand up. <sighs> That feels a lot better. I could stand here like this for a long time until somebody figures out that I've fallen. A lot of people carry their cell phones. They can pull that out, call for help, or just start yelling for somebody on the job site. So there's one example of how you might mitigate the risk of suspension trauma during a fall if you have a vertical lifeline. If you need any help training your workers on fall protection, don't hesitate to give us a call. I'm Bill French with Core Safety, and remember, we're here to help you protect your greatest assets, your people. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.